Hi, I'm Exesis, and this is Hearts to Find 4, by Blood Alone, where we're playing the German Reich with Expert AI. Okay, so last episode, uh, we uh, were just uh, kind of playing the date, first part of the Sitzkrieg, of the Phony War, and uh, today's going to be the second part, and uh, we're going to end up with uh, hopefully just in time for Weizerubo. I don't think we'll actually be able to pull that off this episode, because that's going to be an, uh, probably going to be an entire episode by and of itself. Okay, so we did have this uh, small Slovakian uh, tank division. It's uh, not the best one, but I did find a good use for it. So uh, we're going to pop it in here. And uh, we've also got a little bit of cleaning up to do there. So we can actually start off by doing that. I. Uh, I just had to do that. So now I got an inverted Armchins Jäger icon too. Just for my sanity. Oh, actually, while we're in here, uh, we want to train up some new divisions. So let's uh, train three more paratroopers. We also want to have one more Alpen Jäger and uh, eight more SS divisions. Let's uh, pop this up to a single run. Eight of them, and we can minimize these, and they can just come when they do. So what we're mostly missing here is uh, support equipment there, but artillery here, and artillery here, or trucks and artillery. And uh, we're mostly done here with the tanks, we get our tank division soon. So we we are going to make some changes to that soon, we've got 93 army experience. But before we forget, we just want to spend that all. So let's go elastic defense. And uh, right here you can go Mobile Infantry or Blitzkrieg. And uh, going Mobile Infantry of course will give you a lot more organization. Because you've got a lot of mobile troops in your tank divisions. Going Blitzkrieg however it gives us 20% more breakthrough on our tanks. And uh, this is the, the we are going of course. Uh, this also unlocks the Tactic Blitz. I think you get Blitz down there. But then you also get down here breakthrough, and breakthrough you don't get by going down this branch. And a breakthrough is a really good tactic as well. We're gonna go down armored spearhead. Of course, that is how we fight. Uh, what more do we have to do here? We wanna that's Romania. They are not to be invited just yet. Don't think we have to deal with anything on the navy. We are sinking a bunch of submarines here, but. Just has been seen before, it's a lot easier to just come in and do it this way. We've been sinking well, mostly British submarines now, a few convoys, and a few French submarines there, and some convoys, so our convoy rating is doing something at least. Uh, I did take the liberty of setting up our beat a little bit for Weiserubo. So we're gonna be, we've got some submarine fleets here that we are gonna be using. And I also moved the EC fleet, Schleswig-Holstein and Schlesen, over here to Mecklenburg so they can help out with the uh, naval invasions that are going to be going on here. There's no point in us actually planning this out just yet though. So we've got these 12 units. We want to send them over to the... Uh, probably mostly over to this front here. Uh, we've got some on... Uh, border to Luxembourg. So uh, select six of them up there. And what more do we have here? We probably want to have at least three more there. Yes, yeah, so we're at least filling up here a little bit. And uh, these are our divisions that only have support artillery, of course, for the uh, default template. I wonder where we want to have these. Let's, uh, let's grab one of them and put them on the Luxembourg front. And we can probably do with the other two here on the Netherlands front. They have moved around a little bit with the aircraft again too, but we'll see when they end up there. I uh, didn't think it was anything major to fix that. We are going to split off. We just uh, deploy these. We are going to split off a few of these. That should be eight of them. And we can just uh, keep them down here in... Uh, Let's just put them. When I have them in a port, 
we can quickly get them over. So let's put them here in, maybe not Rostock, but put them in Stetten. I think that's how we spread them out. That'll be fine. Yeah, so we get them out of the way. We want a commander here. Paul Hauser will do fine. He's got three in defense. This, of course, is going to be our defenders for Norway later on. Now we can rename this one. And that's just because uh, there's water here, of course. We don't want it on the same order or we'll have them just shipping all over the place and getting destroyed. We do have a few... Yeah, they can keep one way raiding there for now. I think that's all we wanted to do in this case. We want to let this run a little bit so we get the political power. Because we want to use that, of course. And there we go. And that's not where we spend our political power. So what we want to spend on here is Wilhelm Canaris, so we get the extra operative slot. That's going to help us out. It could probably help us out earlier too, but uh, this is when we're getting it. We're of course uh, soon to be rescuing Cicero here, who got caught by the UK. Because um, we want to build up a little bit of an internet, I did think we moved up our... Yeah, so we've moved, moved up our, what are these called, the uh, recon wings to be gathering re reconnaissance on Norway and Denmark. Now we can at least pretend we are trying to find where their air force is located. We can strike them out the first day. Uh, we of course still have a big air war going on here. At the moment we are passing them, but it is getting late into 39 and I think the UK is soon to be switching up their production. We're meeting mostly hurricanes here and uh, the French uh, D510s and a lot of uh, bombers of course. But we're trading well and we have been, if we look here at the graph, we've been trading almost 1 to 2 and we're shooting down 50 bombers and that to so 1 to 3. And over the, well, we don't really have months yet. But we, we're doing good in the air war. Okay, let's uh, keep playing. We've got a quite a lot of time to actually carry on here before our visor Ubo. We need to get to uh, about April. And this, of course, is for air doctrine. We are waiting for some more bonuses there. We don't have a template for the basic light self-propelled artillery. We will be fixing that shortly too. Now we've got our first five arm experience. Let's quick pause. We're gonna go into our infantry division. And we've got, no, we need 10 for that. I want to swap out the uh, this for support anti-air. So let's uh, unpause again. We were a little bit fast there. We could, of course, do the change we are going to do with the armored divisions too. Okay, so the Soviet Union has declared war on Finland. Now let's see what happens up here then. The end of the League of Nations. With the declaration of war on Finland by the Soviet Union, the League of Nations has failed in its attempt to preserve peace. Josef Stalin openly mocked the League's inability to do anything, and with that took his country out of the League. With other world leaders also questioning the point of the League of Nations, it can't prevent conflicts. The days of the League are de facto over. While the Council continues to meet, no one expects it to actually accomplish anything anymore. Whatever authority the council once had is long lost now. Not totally unexpected. And uh, this winter war is usually pretty quick. Uh, unlike the real thing, of course. Uh, Iberian coast had submarines. Van Schall is also submarines. I'm gonna keep an eye open for our fancy ships, of course. And this is why I wanted to have the tank division divide and actually put into somewhere. Now we might want to... Uh, we might use two or two of them. Let's we'll see when we get there. No, one should be enough. And uh, this should just be... This should be Rommel's missing panzer division. And uh, it's two more infantry divisions, they can go in here, we want to have 12 here for the invasion of Norway. 
Okay, so we finished the army department. That's nice. Uh, Air Force Department, of course, I think is probably the nicest. Uh, but army department is nice because it's, it's a little bit easy to see opponent's tank designs. The uh, question is, do we want to... That's so many factories, we don't really want to do that, do we? No, let's, uh, let's do another level of passive defense and we'll leave that one be for a little bit. Okay, so we got our 10 army experience. Let's go into our infantry division and we want to swap out to support anti-air. Now the important thing here is that they have the same manpower. And that's why we've left this one in all the time. So that we won't be losing any kind of experience now. And we're actually adding some, some a little bit of piercing at least to the infantry divisions. And uh, of course we are adding a lot of anti-air. And... Uh, we do have enough in storage. We've got 2300 in storage and we need to have 1300. So no problem whatsoever to do this change. This will also free up 780 artillery for use in these divisions that we actually want to get out. So overall I think this is a very good change and it does reduce our supply a little bit too. Also gives us a little bit of heart attack. Free. Uh, it's hardly worth it for that. The air attack, of course, is going to help us bring down opponents' close air support. This is still a very soft division. So let's uh, save that one off. Let's uh, bye bye to our army experience. Wow, the clock's running really slow there now. Okay, so. There we actually got a defeat in the western approaches. That's also a submarine one. We lose the submarine. Yeah, we lost U-35 here. I don't think we've got any other defeats, do we? Iberian coast. Do we have anything going on down here? And we lost one convoy down there. I think we had them... Oh, that's submarines there. We were also up here at Bermuda, weren't they? Yeah, here we go. Uh, Deutschland is sinking a few convoys. That's uh, we got a cruiser submarine up here too, or a Type 9. So we are dotting out some convoys. We looks like we have a little bit of trouble finding them. We don't have that many submarines there just yet. Or we sank one of their submarines too. That of course is a crap submarine. Because unlike our submarine, it's actually useful. Now we should be able to recruit a new operative soon. Did we sink some? Yeah, we lost two more submarines. Oh, they are yeah, sinking lots of submarines there. Alright, so who do we have here? Hildegard Ral, Sander Kirchner. Looking for the seducer trait here. Linguist is a nice one too. Uh, it looks like she's already doing something. Yeah, we'll grab her. And uh, we'll start building an internet network here in Denmark. Uh, to be fair, we're probably better off starting in Norway. There's two more, we only want one of them in here. And the other one can, we can just start building up the other ones there. Don't want to have too many divisions with us up to object attaché. No, I don't think we want to do that. Because there's a lot of political power that we need to use for other things. And we can always do that one later on, of course. It'll cost America a little bit as well. We can select military high command, we're still saving there though. Now we're gonna get a lot of new divisions, we can probably ignore that one for a bit. How are we doing here? We're still fighting in very red air, but it looks like we are shooting down loads of their aircraft. We just, yeah, there we go. You can see there that they just got reinforced with their first Spitfires. This is uh, right around the turn of the uh, turn of the year until 1940. Britain usually gets their 1940 models. Now as the Spitfires pile in here, and we're going to be shooting down mostly old fighters, the advantage will probably switch over. And we'll see this. Uh, this will probably even out to more of a one-one situation, maybe even worse. So we need to get on the ball with that too. 
Now in, uh, in reality, Germany had started the Bokowolf 190 program in 1939, or 38 maybe even. But they weren't operational until 41, so that's kind of what we're aiming for. And otherwise, of course, for game's sake, you want to get that out of the way as soon as possible. Let's grab some radio encryption there too. Alright, so we are done with our infiltration in the UK. We're probably down to zero intel there as well. Now we want to be still in here. Uh, that's yeah, we're down to zero there. Uh, let's go to well, actually. Truth be told, we're probably better off in Belgium, and we want to be in Denmark. Uh, the Netherlands doesn't really make that much of a difference, but Belgium needs to go fast. That's our path to Paris, of course. Uh, yeah, I also moved these uh, the Heinkels down from Czechoslovakia into Eastern Germany, just to help a little bit more there. There's nothing happening in Czechoslovakia anyway. And uh, put the light bombers here. They're going to be doing the logistics strikes later on. And these ones will probably be doing close air support instead. Uh, we don't have any regions assigned for them yet though. Which is as it should be, in that case. Yeah, they are standing by. Good. Uh, let's uh, have the clock run again. So we are starting to crew some more uh, army experience. That's good. Oh, I wonder if we can actually see the uh, Spitfire. Uh, air innovations, yes. Modern wars cannot be won without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to develop the air force. And uh, well, we could go for air innovations too, I guess. Give us a small research. Uh, actually, it's a uh, battlefield support and doctrine. That's quite good. That's just a 25% for the doctrine. We're not going to be using the medium aircraft bonus just yet. Yeah, let's go air innovations too. Get that out of the way. Uh, to give us uh, some extra off there. Yes, what we wanted to do was to just check a little bit here. So we've got the BF-109E. This is our frontline fighter. 22 production cost. If you press this little small comparison button up here, then you can click in foreign. And uh, some of these won't add anything. We can uh, deselect the German designs. Now we only see foreign designs. It looks like we can only see British and Czechoslovakian ones. Uh, of course, we've got the Czechoslovakian ones in our possession. Now we can come down here and select the Spitfire. And we can actually see what kind of stats they have. So the Spitfire has a 270 kilometers more range than the BF-109. It's also 89 kilometers faster. And that's uh, due to having engine 3. Uh, ranges from it being in, uh, on an improved airframe and it's probably got drop tanks too. It's got double the air attack that we have. And they're, they're probably set up with, uh, with a cannon and uh, light machine guns. And uh, or four, eight light machine guns and two cannons maybe. Got more agility from having a newer airframe and they've got higher air defense from and they probably got both armor and self sealing fuel tanks since they have the third slot opened. Uh, this design is probably going to be costing them about 40. Maybe a little bit more even. So it's... Uh, at the moment we are playing a numbers game with them. Uh, let's unpause there again. We of course are producing 4.6 BF109s per day. So that's a, a fair amount. We are at nearly eight, no, nearly seventy percent production efficiency. All right, so we finished improved oil processing. And now, where do we want to go from here? We probably want to go back into engineering. It's nineteen forty, January eleventh. Now we're not ahead of time on the improved computing machine anymore. That'll give us bomb sites two and uh, the stabilizer, and maybe more importantly, an eight percent research speed boost. I don't think it's worth doing ahead of time, but now that it's not ahead of time, let's grab it. 
and uh, you can see there we are researching our engines 3. That's going to help keep the PF109 uh, decent a little while longer. We are also soon done with the landing craft. That's kind of the point where we can start planning the advisor Ubu. And uh, we're soon finished up with the mechanized there as well. How are we doing for construction? Do we need to add anything more to the queue? Now we probably need to add a few more mills. Let's uh, get it off pause again. Let's uh, go one more there. No problem. Now we're probably going to need to start filling uh, filling up a bunch of these zones. So maybe we can start with the lower infrastructure ones. Now we probably want to start with the higher infrastructure ones. Uh, we've got a synthetic refinery there already. Let's grab a few more there. We've got our synths here. Or something like that. At least we've got a few more. It could help Slovakia build up a little bit more, but uh, no, that's uh, good enough there. I've got 13 more divisions here. Let's grab six of them, put them there. I've got 10 more. Let's uh, deselect four of them, put them in here. Don't really know where we're going to keep these. Let's. Uh... Oh, we want to make a new army. I can uh, give this one a blue color. That's fine. We'll uh, figure out a better name for it. So Finland and Soviet sign a white piece, and Finland then of course lose Karelia and Savo or Sala. We want to put a commander in charge here. Probably want to have, yeah, let's get Felix Stettner in there. That'll be good. He can probably soak up a lot of these extra divisions. And they'll just go and uh, find a decent place to be. Shouldn't be under any kind of... Uh, yeah, let's just okay this one. Yeah, okay, so we are deploying all the troops now. Uh, because we got the artillery in into here, of course. So we should be at a... Uh, very soon at a positive balance of artillery as well. And we are producing the... Oh, we're actually producing both kinds. We should be producing. It looks like we are not quite there yet. There we are. Oh well. Uh, let's see what more we are putting them into. So we're getting a few more. Probably want to bump up the 109 production as well. Don't think that one is accurate. I think we've got plenty of fighters in the stockpile. Yeah. Don't need to worry about that. Then maybe we just put one more in there. I think we draw back a little bit there. I don't know. Yeah, we need to. Let's bump this one down though. Let's put at least one more factory into the basic large airframes. Don't know how well we're, how much we're going to be doing with them. And uh, no, we can't add that yet. We do want to add a few more factories on too. We can probably wait with that. We are producing the Panzer IVs now, though. But yeah, we wanna we wanna spread these factories down. We get a notification when it's time to look at that again. Right. And that should be the last of the garrison units. Right. Uh, Finland wants a non-aggression pact. I think we say yes to that. We are not planning to go to war with them. Do we have any fun combats to look at there? Got one in the western approaches with 11. The western approaches is all the way up here. Yeah, can't be that one. Iberian coast, okay. But it looked like we had a pretty big combat going on here somewhere. No, no we can't find it. We've got a lot of combat going on here. As long as we get in and we sink one or two convoys every time, that's fine. Of course, we're going to be putting a lot of uh, production into this beast as well. Now, we do have the research boost for the this one already. We aren't going to spend that one 
quite yet, because uh, it's still two years ahead of time. It's one year of research that we don't really need. So we're gonna just stick with the Sonder Krauss 11 until then. Now what we do want, however, is radar. And this one is... Uh, this one will actually only give us radar station and it'll give us the new mari marine radar as well. Uh, uh, the next level we start getting an air-to-air -air radar, which is a really nice one. So we want to add these. We probably want to just put them at the back end of the queue for now. We'll start filling them up this way. Yeah, that should be fine. We shouldn't be running out of those. Now we are getting some arm experience here. We could make some changes to the Panzer divisions. Okay, so we finished a landing craft. That gives us floating harbors. Let's add some of those to production as well. And how we're we doing for, yeah, we're soon up in political power for that. Let's actually pop over here and we will grab this. Uh, we'll actually grab the artillery upgrade first. 10% soft attack for all of our artillery divisions. That's nice. And uh, we'll probably want it when we go to war with France. So let's uh, tack in some floating harbors here. I can keep them at the bottom, I guess. We don't need uh, an infinite amount of them now. No, let's put them up here with the capital ships. We just want to get five of them out. Let's. Thin out these lines just a little bit. Do we have anything used for repairs? No, that's fine. Very good. Let's grab this division and uh, pop it in there. And let's just check out our Panzer division. What we want to do is, of course, add a uh, light self propelled artillery. Now we don't have these pieces yet. We are, we've got 30 of them. And uh, we need another 500. And that also requires 500 additional manpower, of course. We don't really want that. So we're going to remove one of these light tanks. That gives us the same manpower. And we'll go up a little bit in combat width. And we won't lose out on the soft attack, because we still have our artillery here. And the end goal, of course, is to replace the motorized artillery with self-propelled artillery. But until then, uh, this is the way we have to do it. We also would like to add another motorized or mechanized unit. But this will have to wait a little bit more too, because uh, we don't have the trucks for that. So we... It's actually only 350 trucks, it's not that bad. Uh, but we might actually want to do that with mechanized infantry instead. And we'll remove uh, two more light tank divisions when we do that change, I think. We of course have light tanks here, so uh, uh, and we can probably fit in another medium tank. Question is, we probably want to save this one as a new template, but I don't want to have to go around and upgrade everything. Let's do it this way. This one can be Panzer Division. And this is going to be the new one. Let's duplicate it. and. Just update that one. So this is the uh, the one that we currently have, but we have a new one down here. So I'm doing this just to save this one for later. Now this one is the one that all all of our divisions are still using, because we might want to make some kind of light division to make use of all these light tanks, of course. Now let's add that self-propelled artillery. Remove a light tank. We are at the same manpower. We get. A little bit more soft attack, a little bit more defense. Actually, yeah, we lose some breakthrough, of course, because we're removing an entire battalion of light tanks. But I think that's uh, that should be more than enough breakthrough, especially now that we've got the plus 20% here as well. From uh, Doctrine, of course. Uh, this would be the uh, 1940s Panzer Division. No, oh, early. Uh, this is the kind of interim chain. I don't want to have it that way. Panzer 2s now, let's give us... We'd kind of like to have the Panzer 3s. Okay, well, we've got a Panzer 4 instead. I guess that's fine. Uh, let's save this one, so sheep change. And then we can start to stock up on... 
on self-propelled artillery in our fancy divisions. Uh, that one will just have to go now. Uh, this should also alleviate our light tank shortage a little bit. Uh, we of course are still land leasing light tanks. How is this one doing? We should be... I think we need to just open this one up a little bit. We should be... No, we haven't been able to replace these just yet. Yeah, probably because we've got a shortage of light tanks. This of course is going to be... going to take some time for this uh, the light tanks to get back into stock. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can update the... Then at least we've got here. So we are send, trying to send them at least some Panzer twos. But now we've got some... Let's send them all the 14. Let's send them all the Czechoslovakian tanks. Now in real life Germany got a lot of Czechoslovakian tanks and they actually use them even for Barbarossa. So the ones we have aren't really... You select all in your story. I don't know what that button does. And we'll still try to give them some Panzer IIs, I think. Could give them a whole bunch of Panzer IIAs, so then we don't need to convert them to anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's scrap that one. And we will give them a one-time... They should be needing about 120 tanks, right? And now we, I think we want to... We will keep giving them some new ones, but we will give them... That's a small amount of the Panzer 1, 1 A's. We've got 135, let's give them 40 together with these 30 odd tanks. Let's even that up. Uh, why not? Now we give them give them a more even number, right? And try to give them 10 of our Panzer 2's per month. I think that's... Yeah, that's a fair amount. We should be making roughly 50 of them, 45-50 of them every, every month. Maybe that'll make them build a little bit more Panzer divisions. And this, of course, is going to take some time until they start going in here. And uh, what I'm hoping is that we can get the base speed up a little bit here. Oh yeah, we uh, we did finish. Well, we can wait for that too. I was thinking we want to start planning Vice Rubo, but there's no point doing that until we start the focus. And we are starting to cap out on air experience. How are we doing for the engine? That's another 30 days. But yeah, I think we actually we have a research boost for air doctrine. So let's go grab this one. And uh, this one, direct ground support. Question is if we want to go a little bit for those as well. Uh, we should probably have tried to wait for waited for this one. We get the extra seven percent uh, support doctrine cost reduction there. We also get a one hundred percent for radar, which is nice. Okay, so another mode race division, and uh, we of course are trying to build mode race divisions. An extra one for each tank. We are going to give. Uh, no, we don't have it selected anymore. We're going to give Mantoffel this one first. We can actually set Mantoffel up here on the border. And just uh, give him an attack order. By giving him... Let's see if we can actually get them to move there. Now we'll see when they get there. Oh, here we go. So we get to modify government, and now it is time for us to go with the uh, Rheinmetall. We are, well, we just started doing the anti-air, and we're gonna, our artillery, and we're gonna do anti-air and anti-tank, so we're gonna be doing a lot of artillery research. The, uh, uh, close by here now. Let's see if we actually get them here and see if they want to have some planning bonus. There we go. That's entrenchment. So they get some planning bonus here. And uh, this will slowly build up. And uh, this gives us a 37% when it's maxed out. 
uh, boost to attack and defense. That's usually only for the first attack if you do manual control. If you let the battle planner move it, you'll have it maybe one province, two provinces deep. So it'll stick a little bit, a little while longer to kind of balance out the uh, manual versus automatic movements. But this is why I actually assign orders to troops that I know are going to be fighting soon. I could truthfully be doing the same thing down here. Just so we don't forget about it. Well, it doesn't really matter where they go to. Since we, we won't be activating these orders. All of these troops are mostly here too. Just stay in line. But if the opportunity rises to attack, then they at least have the extra bonus there to help out. Uh, here we go, some more motorized. We can start back feeling all of our panzer divisions. Gonna have to move those up to the front soon too. How are we doing with our mining up here? We've laid down 667 mines, that's really good. Oh, something's happened to the speed, that's why we're going so slow. I did not mean for it to be on the speed too, of course. Uh, there we go. And there should be one more coming. As soon as we... No, maybe not. Are we missing a tank here? And... No, that's probably that one then. Yeah, there we go. I knew I had enough of them. And uh, that infantry division goes in there. Now... Hungry wants to send us volunteers, let's not do that. I'd rather not have them running around our backyard. And uh, they cancelled their lendies they had to us. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. I think we want to delete this order. This gives them, yeah, I've got a different hierarchy there. I'm gonna get rid of that order too. Halt everyone. Good. And we aren't sending everyone up, of course. We do want to have a few that are going into. This is actually great because you can see here over Denmark, we can see that they've got an airbase here in Hjelland. They got a division in Aarhus and a division up there in Skagen. Then they got they got three divisions on the border as well. They got one in Copenhagen. And uh, well, if we could see it, we we can actually see it here. There's a level two airbase here in this forest as well that we want to strike. So let's uh, see where we've got our paratroopers. So let's uh, grab the. This paratrooper division, let's drop it here. And the second paratrooper division, we will drop it right here in the woods where there is an airbase. This is just to prevent the allies from reinforcing with any aircraft, of course. Let's see if we can do this with the, the time going. Let's uh, grab these tanks and put them there, together with an infantry division. They are in charge of trying to reach Odense and uh, meeting up here. And these tanks, of course, with Mantofel are going to go up this direction. Alright, so we finished Air Innovations 2. It grants us 50 air experience, that's why we had to, we had to get rid of a little bit of it before. Uh, I think we could have done with just taking one of those doctrines and not to both of them. Could have saved the other one for this bonus. The tasks of the Reich's Air Ministry are of paramount importance. The Luftwaffe must be the most advanced air force in the world. Now we'll get to that a little bit later. Now we've got uh, this one here we'd like to do. Um, for that we need to do this one. And we've got this one down here which of course is uh, kind of thinking a little bit longer ahead of the line. Uh, what we're going to do now, of course, is Operation Weiserübung. This one is 28 days. It gives us a 100% recharge boost to the next model of transport, which is uh, why we've already got that one. We've also got the engines coming in there very, very soon. 
Uh, there we go, we got another full stack there. Let's uh, keep up with this planning. And... Uh, yeah, we want to we wanna make sure that we've got some divisions here. Uh, that one's a good one, I guess. Well, it's as good as any. Naval Invasion Order, Copenhagen. And this was one of the things that got the... Uh, Danes to surrender so quickly, of course, by taking Copenhagen almost instantaneously. Uh, the rest of this is going to be used for attacking in Norway, of course. And uh, these troops, they set out from Wilhelmshaven. Don't know if we can have them all coming from Wilhelmshaven, though. And to Bergen, probably want to land up here in the mountains. With the, do we want to land with two divisions there? No, we don't. I think we want to save a few of these for some other vectors. But we do want to have one that lands here south as well. We also want to have one division that goes all the way up here. Trondheim is a mountain. That's perfectly fine. We don't have uh, an infinite amount of these mountaineers. But uh, up here in uh, Narvik, we also want to have a mountaineer landing. And where do we want to have this last one? Uh, truth be told, it's probably most important here to get Trondheim, or the east coast of it, to kind of cut Norway off. We want to land at these ports, of course, too. Make sure that they uh, to make sure that the allies don't reinforce them. Oh, let's see. There we go. The second SS division can land there, and we'll send the twelfth up all the way to Narvik as well. Question is, do we want to land? Yeah, we want to land north of Narvik. I think. Want to have one division landing south. As well. Right. Oh, and we've got a paratrooper here. Obviously, we're going to have to paradrop from here. And uh, in a perfect world, we would be able to drop here. Or, yeah, in this province. This is where the airport is located. Uh, we can't do that. Which uh, stinks a little bit. But we'll land here and we'll hopefully be able to run into the side there. We might hold off just a little bit on that paradox until the naval invasions are coming. So the naval invasions to Oslo, we will send them from Rostock. We'll have two divisions assault Oslo proper. With one landing on... And maybe we want to have two landing. Yeah, we we'll probably want to have one landing on either side there. We'll have two divisions landing there. Of course, taking Oslo is uh, important to us. Let's make sure that we've got enough troops actually landing around here. We've of course got the uh, naval uh, invasion capacity. It's uh, over here somewhere, isn't it? No. Max planning. It should be in here somewhere. Oh well, uh, we'll find it some other time. Well, we did that take, so we should have 30 of them. Uh, we want to be in on this one. We're running out of divisions here. Let's send uh, two from Hamburg. They are going to be landing here between Stavanger and Kristiansand. And Kristiansand. I don't know which one of these. These might be guarded. They might not be guarded. We will land in between them, and we should be able to take at least one of them. Uh, both of them are usually never guarded. Bergen is usually always guarded, Oslo is usually guarded, and Trondheim and Narvik are sometime, sometimes guarded. Now we do want to add a few more divisions here from Wilhelmshaven. We we'll probably want to have these landing up north here. I can probably land them like so. This was one of the most important ones. There was a lot of battles around here with the 
There's a very, very, very big uh, iron ore mine in Sweden located on about here in Kiruna. So the iron ore was shipped out through Narvik. And of course the Germans wanted to make sure that they could get that. Okay, so these last two divisions, we've got six divisions, seven divisions landing here, three divisions landing. I probably want to have one more there. We could land some more here on the southern coast. But I think these two will go into here as well. So let's uh, send these off from Hamburg as well, I think. And uh, here we can land. Let's land one here and here. This one will of course have to run around all the way, which is not an ideal situation. But it allows us to take some tiles as well. And there's usually some uh, some troops up north here as well. Okay, so we've got Weiserubung planned out. And I think that is where we call the episode for now. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you next time.